What we have here is an algebraic expression that reads 1 and 5 tenths multiplied by x. And in this case, x is equal to 12.5. So we have to take 1.5 and multiply it by 12.5. So let's start by writing 12.5 and then underneath writing 1.5. And we have to multiply these values together. 5 times 5 is 25, and we carry the 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, plus 2 more is 12, and then we carry the 1. And 5 times 1 is 5, plus that 1 we carry is 6. Next, we have to put a 0 in the place value that we already took care of, so we put it directly underneath of this place value, and then start with the next place value. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Now we have to add all of these digits together, and this column is a total of 5. This is 7, 6 and 2 is 8, and 1 plus nothing is 1. Now because we have decimals included in the problem, that means we have to have a decimal in the answer. But be careful, we do not drop the decimal straight down. That is what we would do if we were adding or subtracting numbers. So what we have to do is count the total number of place values that are after each one of these decimals. After this decimal, we have one place value. And after this decimal, we also have one place value for a total of two place values. So in our answer, we need exactly two place values after the decimal. So the only place our decimal can go is in this location. So the product of 1.5 and 12.5 is 18.75 or 18 and 75 hundredths.